So let's quickly cover the drag snap rigid option. I have a standard cube here and I'm just going to select it in polygons mode and then press W for the move tool and then holding control and shift I'm going to uh, grab the uh, red X handle and just make a quick uh, duplicate. So both of these uh, polygons exist in the same mesh item. Uh, I have snapping enabled at the moment, I'll just disable it because with the drag snap rigid tool uh, enabled, uh, snapping is automatically uh, enabled. So I'll come over to snaps and precision in the basic side tab and once I click that we get this snaps and precisions um, palette and just by uh, clicking on the palette it pins it or locks it in place. Uh, so I'll just click drag snap rigid and you can see that snapping has been enabled, uh, element fall off and element action center have been enabled. And now all I really have to do is um, left click on any of the uh, elements, in this case I'll choose a vertex, and then I'll just snap it to another vertex. So if I left click on this vertex and start to move it, you can see that I have a little purple crosshair uh, right near the center of the uh, action handles, uh, if I just, or the tool handles. Uh, if I just snap that to another uh, vertex, you can see that it uh, just kind of butts each of the um, polygons up against each other. So I'll press escape uh, just to uh, drop the drag snap rigid tool. And I just want to make it clear that this didn't actually merge these together. These are still two separate um, polygon um, kind of islands within the mesh item, uh, which the mesh item acts as a container. Uh, you can really see this uh, two different ways. If I press shift tab to go into Catmull Clark subd mode, you can see that uh, these two um, polygons are still um, kind of present. And if I press shift tab again to go back to faces mode, uh, or yeah, standard face polygon mode, I can still double click uh, either of the um, cubes and then just move them off in space. So you can see that they didn't actually vert weld. So that's not part of the drag snap rigid option. Um, so if I were to uh, use the drag snap rigid tool again, I can just click on drag snap rigid. I can, uh, once again, left click on the vertex that I want to uh, kind of treat as the point of, uh, the, or like the, the center of where this will drag from. And then I can left click and drag it to where I want it to snap to, like so. And just as an example, I'll escape, uh, drop the tool again by pressing escape. And then I'll double click on this cube, control X, N for new mesh item, control V to paste, and I'll just show you how it works uh, between uh, mesh items. So I'll just move this up a little bit. And then I'll click drag snap rigid. Well, first I want to make sure that I'm moving this uh, cube. You can go either way, but I'll just focus on this cube. Uh, so I'll click drag snap rigid, left click on this vertex, and move it up. So let me undo that. The key here is that once you enable drag snap rigid and click on the vertex, you get that little crosshair, that little purple crosshair, and that's what you actually want to um, snap to uh, the vertex, or the destination vertex. Now, alternatively, you can get uh, similar behavior by uh, kind of forgetting about the drag snap rigid tool and just uh, sort of building the same uh, functionality yourself quickly by using uh, the automatic action center. So I just changed my action center to automatic. Uh, you can also get to that by pressing Alt A, that's the shortcut. And then symmetry, or I'm sorry, not symmetry, snapping, uh, which the shortcut for that is X. And by default, uh, snapping is set to vertex snapping. If you're not sure, you can always hold Alt and click on the snapping button. Uh, that brings up the snapping popover. And uh, by default, as I mentioned, vertex snapping is the default. Um, so with these two things selected, I can uh, press W for move and right click on any of the elements that I want to snap to. So I'll just choose this vertex again. So right click and then I can left click on the little center uh, kind of cyan, um, kind of something that looks like kind of like a locator. It's almost like an asterisk. Um, and then just click on that and drag it to any of the elements that we want to snap it to. In this case, I'm just using the, the vertex. So that works uh, very similar to the uh, drag snap rigid function.